Hello friends, in this video, today we are going to discuss about Hamiltonian for simple pendulum. So now let's start. We know that Lagrangian for simple pendulum is given by L is equal to half m L square theta dot square minus m z L plus m z L cos theta. Okay. So we also know that momentum p theta is equal to del l by del theta dot and if you find this then you will get m l square theta dot because you see here this is the this part is the only function of theta dot and derivative with respect to theta dot derivative of this remaining parts will be zero okay and this implies theta dot is equal to p theta by m l square okay so now here you see that the kinetic energy so we know l is equal to t minus b if you compare this one with this equation here this equation also can be written as uh, this part also can be written as half m l square theta dot square minus m z l 1 minus sorry ah uh, yes 1 minus cos theta okay so here you see this part represents potential energy and this part represents kinetic energy t okay so here we can write t is equal to the first word okay t is equal to we can write half m l square theta dot okay so here you see we have already got that theta dot is equal to p theta by m l square from this equation okay so if you substitute here then this kinetic energy term will be half m l square instead of theta dot square we will write p theta by m l square whole square okay and this is equal to p theta square by 2m l square now let us replace this term by this or you can say you can replace this term by this then what you will get then then you will get Lagrangian l is equal to p square sorry p theta square by 2m l square minus m z l 1 minus cos theta okay so now this is our l lagrangian l so here this term is nothing but t and this part is nothing but v that is potential energy so we know that hamiltonian is is equal to t plus b okay so that's why if this term is t and this is v then we will get h is equal to p theta square by 2 m l square plus m z l 1 minus cos theta so that's what we're gonna have and we know the Hamiltonian equation of motion according to Hamiltonian equation of motion we know that theta dot theta dot let me write clearly theta dot is given by del h by del p theta so here this part 
this first part is the only function of p theta so if you differentiate it then you will get p theta by ml square okay and we also from hamiltonian uh, uh, we also know according to hamiltonian equation motion that p theta dot is equal to uh, p theta dot is equal to minus del h by del theta so here this is the function this part is the function of theta and if you differentiate it with respect to theta then you will get minus m l sine theta into z or you can uh, write this way let me rewrite it m z l sine theta okay mgl sin theta now you see now here you can see from this equation you can obtain p theta is equal to m l square theta dot or it also can be obtained from lagrangian l because p theta is equal to del l by del theta dot okay so we have already done this in previous slide okay so here you see and from this equation if you find p theta dot p theta dot means time derivative of p theta okay then you will get m l square theta double dot okay so now if you compare these two equations if you compare these two equations then what you will get let us suppose this is equation number one this is equation number two so comparing equation number one and two comparing equation number one and two we will get that m l square theta double dot is equal to minus m g l sine theta okay so here you see this is also p theta dot and this part is also equal to p theta dot if you compare these two equations then the right hand sides must be also equal okay so then simplifying uh, sorry comparing one and two we have got this equation and let us simplify this equation so here from here we will get m l square theta double dot plus m z l sine theta is equal to zero and dividing dividing both side by m l square you will get uh, sorry dividing both side by m l then you will get l theta double dot plus z z sine theta equal to zero so this is the equation for simple pendulum so hope you have understood it and if you think this is helpful for you then please share with your friends and if you are new to my channel subscribe the channel thank you for watching